Previously on Sailing Satori, as we were sailing south of St. Bart's on a 10-hour passage, we were hit by a morning squall. As the winds picked up, our rigging gave way. Our chain plate snapped off the deck, forcing us to turn around. We were able to limp back to the island of St. Martin, where we now have a major project on our hands. So far, all of the chain plates have been remade and partially installed. So last night we finally got our uh, our big three and a half inch chain plates completed and handed over to us just in time for uh, FKG to close down for like four days. So today's Friday, they're closed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Today we're basically putting the boat back together um, and getting the rigging set up so that tomorrow we can take our jib down because the sacrificial sail um, the stitching that started to come loose especially during our little fiasco we're gonna take advantage of the dock space that we have is a whole nice area up front where we can uh, get our sail rate machine out and a workbench basically a big open space where we can run the um, that big sail through the machine <laughs> what's going on little man we gave him some his monthly heart meds. What is it? Heartworm. The heartworm. Prevention. Heartworm prevention. He didn't want to take it. Kind of had to force him to take it. Now he's mad at us. Are you mad? He's so mad he's saying. Pull on this just a little bit. The mast wiggles. It's crazy how much flex there is. Jib ripped, no idea how. Maybe the, when the chain plate broke, it ripped it, knocked into it. This stitching came out, no bueno. We knew we had some bad stitching restitched maybe three years ago I don't know how many times it's been restitched but that's a something we have to repair as well So, what we got here is this tear. To do a patch like this, you basically create a, a patch that's about an inch bigger. We'll probably go like three or four inches wide on this one. And um, you sew that on. And then on the back side, you just kind of cut away around the edge of the stitch. Um, because this is on the edge of the sail cover, and um, the sail cover's been sewn on so many times, we're kind of at the end of the life of this thing. Um, we're probably just gonna end up stitching over here um, and then cutting away where it's up against the sail cover and then wherever this stitch ends up. 
So this this deck runs off a, a spare sail we got from our friends. Providence. Providence is the boat name. Thank you guys. Um, I don't know how much how old this sail is, but the material seems fine. This is the, the outsides of that patch that we just put on the other side and that is the deck around for inside the rip. So we have to re-sew all of this stitching on the sail cover. So we're going to wait till we go over this and then we'll just trim, trim this out. And here's the leech of our sail. You can see it's been stitched restitched a number of times so um, adhesive Dacron this stuff's been on the boat for quite a while I'm sure it's not the greatest stuff but I'm gonna tape it on where we're gonna sew just to try and give it a little extra uh, backing a little extra reinforcement since it's been stitched through so many times Mm -hmm, he's in the shade. Arthur, you're in the shade. New bobbin. Always right um, before the end, isn't it? Bobbin's all in spring. Beach hair, don't care. Grumpy. Yeah. Hot, okay. tired. You don't feel good. Hungover. Hungover. Not a darling. Nope. That sun is getting us. So here is our the patch we put in here. We also sewed along the sail. So what we need to cut out is actually this part right here. I would probably use the better scissors. By the way, you can see a much better example of this on the uh, Sailrite YouTube channel. Not doing too bad. All right. Better than I thought it would. That's be. it for this edition of how to make your sail look like a quilt. Okay, so the way I'm doing these uh, chain plates, right now they've been tuned up, so I wanna keep the tension that's already set. So I set a piece of tape up here so that when I loosen this and remove the uh, toggle from the chain plate, I can tighten it back up to this point. I've also taped uh, around the outside of the chain plate cover with about a quarter inch 
um, exposed on each side. Now just taking the chain plate cover off. Set that aside. Pull that off. A little acetone. Get any oils off of there so that the sealant will stick. Sealant, we got Boat Life Life Seal. We're using white. I like to go around the outside. Be pretty, just thorough. Now, as I tighten this plate, I just kind of do it a little bit on each corner, and I don't tighten it all the way. Not quite. Paper towel in hand. With your finger, just real easily go along the outside and get that goop. And then just wipe it on the paper towel. Don't be shy with the paper towel usage. And make sure you have a clean finger for everyone. Don't mind my dirty fingernails. Don't get too much on each swipe, otherwise you really make a mess. If you get it coming up the screw holes, you can really gently just kind of wipe that off. And then come in with the paper towel. Ooh, don't do that. It's okay. So, doesn't have to be perfect, just mostly clean. We're not gonna do anything in here, because as soon as we hook up that stay, this is gonna actually move a bit. So, we're gonna just remove the outside tape first. And you're left with a little bit of a tape line. So I just go around one more time, super light, and just blend that little tape line in. Again, wiping with the paper towel. Now is when I tape around the actual chain plate itself. Just real light. Not to disturb any of the work we've already done. Give it about a quarter inch. That's that. Now we can hook it back up. See, we brought it right back up to our tape line. Now I noticed that on this side we didn't have quite enough sealant coming through, so I'm just gonna add a little bit. Try not to get too much sealant up the chain plate. So, let's do this nice and easy and slow. It's just light pressure on this, just trying to smooth out, get rid of the excess bubble of sealant. Can remove this tape, go over it one more time. Smooth out the line. Okay, good enough, good enough. Leave it, leave it. I'm a 
video give us a thumbs up want to see more subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when we upload our next one for even more check out our website and patreon page and also if you want to see more arthur he has his own youtube channel you can find all these links in the description below when you're gone.